I feel even if you're still in the game, like 10 shares or what, it's still that the fact that you actively participate. Founder trader of uh, Trader Pool. Today uh, with me is Patricia. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Uh, you passed the evaluation of the um, super buying power, right? That's mm -hmm. uh, $80,000 of buying power. You can trade and basically go on any of our 12,000 uh, symbols, um, stock trading, of course. And uh, Patricia, let's talk a little bit about your trading style and you know how long you've been doing that. Uh, so I've started about a year and a half ago. Oh. And um, I started with, you know, I got bought myself a course and started with simple like WeWAP strategy, um, super basic. And then over the course, I uh, became more short biased. Mm -hmm. And so right now I uh, short small caps, basically. That's my strategy. And usually during the open. Uh, that's amazing. A lot of the traders that we have, like funded traders that we have, are doing literally the same thing. You know, just looking for those small caps to short them. What? Uh, why is it that you tracked it to this one? I mean, why not to trade Tesla or Amazon, Google? What's so special about those small caps? Um, I don't know. I look at my ticker, my scanner. There's so much liquidity mm -hmm. and so much range. Yeah. Uh, I'm not just scalping. Uh, scalping. I'm more. Um, taking a position and holding it a bit longer, um, okay. not overnight, but it's something I could set and forget. Basically, I do have a little, uh, a little baby, so I cannot really be in okay. front of the screen all the time. She needs the attention, so I, I like looking at the hot stocks, uh, make my my theory, set my position, set my stops and my profit taking, and then I can just leave the screen and. You know, well, <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, how can you, you know, first of all, you're one of our um, funded, obviously, uh, women that we had um, lately. And this is incredible to see because, you know, this is a lot of the guys, uh, this is like a guy's field. Oh, yeah. thing, but to see a woman that does that, that's amazing. Thank and you. how old is your baby? Like, that's a. Uh, uh, she's a year now, so I started when I was six months pregnant. Wow, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> and you. incredible that you actually can do both things. Uh, you mostly day trade or you also hold uh, put from time to time, like swing trading? Oh, day trade. I'm on the West Coast. I would lose my mind, like being able to be having to get up at 1 a.m. and look at my position. So I'm like, yeah. I'm going to close <laughs> it out that way. That's good. I can't forget about it. Amazing. So uh, diving into the trading uh, style, I mean, you short bias, small caps. What is it that, or let's say, after you found the right uh, ticker, right? Uh, the one that exploded in like 500% or whatever. How do you find the place where you start uh, to short the asset, basically? I usually look at, um, so the five minute and the daily. Mm -hmm um chart and if a price hits a daily level then i usually start shorting um so it needs to definitely be shown on the daily level and have a 30 percent um increase where i could say okay this is something the odds are high to short it um and yeah that's usually when i Sometimes it happens pre-market, so then I have to manage it a little bit more, obviously, mm -hmm. um, because no stops and no stop losses. Yeah. Um, but doing open, yeah, that's usually when I short. I look for um, it either short right at the open or wait for an extension and then short it. Okay. And besides the daily level, do you have other parameters or you know just tools that will say to you, you know? the chances are that the price will decline now? For sure. I look at fundamentals like market cap and float, um, institutional ownership. Um, yeah. And then some gap stats, the percentage of the ticker closing red or green. And then I 
sometimes you need to be quick with your decision. Yeah. So sometimes a ticker pops up, you know, 30 minutes after open and then you got to be really quick as this, right? Because it goes up and down so quickly. Yeah. So you got to look at the fundamentals real quick and, you know, look at the daily and then be quick to enter. Do, do you use any type of like platforms or softwares, tools, anything like that? Like trade yeah. ideas? Uh, for the charts, I use Thinkorswim okay. with some Think scripts, and then um, Finwiz for the news, the flow, and then the daily chart. It's more simple. It's not so many um, candles on the daily chart. It's more like this is the biggest level, this is the biggest price level, and not. It doesn't show me like thirty possible levels. Mm -hmm. So I like the simplicity of it. <coughs> so I and look at that. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I look at that and then I make my decision based off of that. And do you use any indicators intraday, like uh, pivot points, uh, EMAs, anything like that? VWAP? Yeah, EMA 200, VWAP. Um, and then for my targets and stop losses, I use the Fibonacci. Hmm. So, so to take your profit, you use the Fibonacci retracement, basically? So mm -hmm. exactly. Ah, huh, interesting. So uh, let's dive into your um, hub or the trading, uh, like the dashboard. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's the first time I will share my screen so the guys at home can see that. Uh, first time you did it. How long it took you to pass the evaluation? Uh, I know it expired. I The account would expire December 3rd. So I'm, I'm not sure how. I did it like less than half the time, I believe. Yeah, from my, what I see, 23rd of October, mm. all the way to uh, yesterday or so. So yeah, that's a decent, uh, like two, three weeks or so. Um, very nice chart, you know, very consistency. You can see the consistency in your trading, although you had some pullbacks, like any any stock would pull back, right? <laughs> so, so that's fine. But can you tell me a little bit about I mean, the progression of of the evaluation. So you reached that moment when you had a peak, then pulled back. How did you pull yourself out of that and continue with the, um, with basically the growth until you reached that point of uh, passing the evaluation? Yeah, well, I like about trade the pool is the fact that you can set your risk and you see it one on one. So when I saw there's a little pullback, I started to decrease my size and, um, you know, forget about it uh, hmm. basically and look for the next day. So sometimes it was like, okay, I made 30%, now I'm back to 20 or you made 50%, I'm back to 30. It's like, well, okay, I lost 20, but I already have 30. So I try to, you know, change the mindset about that a little bit hmm. and then go on to the next and the next and the next. Right. And I really like that you're not over, um, you know, overusing the the leverage because you do have eighty thousand um, dollar to with buying power to use, but you actually buying like five hundred or a thousand or two thousand mm -hmm. shares. Mm -hmm. I see traders that are sh trying to just go very big and you know buy yeah. like twenty fifty thousand shares and yeah. actually blow the account kind of fast. Yeah. In your case, a lot of the trades are, you know, go hundred dollar winner, three hundred dollar winner. So that's uh, that's very nice to see as well. And like you said, you are mostly shorting those stocks. That's uh, uh, yeah, very nice, very impressive trading. I gotta Thank tell you. you that. And for the first time, a lot of the traders will need at least two attempts in the evaluation to pass it just to get used to it and um, tweak their own style and and uh, risk management to our system. And so you did it very nicely. 44%, 43% success rate, uh, but with a positive uh, ratio. Pretty good. Yeah, got to tell you that. Thank you. Uh, happy to see that, really. Thank so you. let's talk a little bit about this. Um, Besides the the tips that you can give the guys at home or the ladies at home that watching it right now and wanna 
you know, they're trying the evaluation. Some of them are getting a, like a tough time to pass it. Anything that you can share that might help them specifically for the for the risk of trader pool or for the evaluation? Yeah, I mean, you guys give us 45 days. So if you think about it in 45 days, you don't have to, you know, try like all out. If you actually go on, on your website, I like the little risk management uh, cheat sheet or the that Excel file where you can actually calculate your win rate and how much you would have to make. Yeah. And you can even if you even if you tell yourself I make a hundred dollars every day, in forty five days you you pass that challenge. Mm. You don't need to go for the home run every time. So if you maybe it's say you max daily risk is seven hundred dollars, just risk two hundred, one fifty each trade. First of all, you don't like tap out if you like risk your seven hundred dollars, you don't tap out right away, you still survive to trade another day yeah and your system for that is great i mean it shows you exactly how much you risk and how much you will possibly make at your target so yeah go slow you have so much time i mean 45 days it's a lot and even yeah. if you even if you lose a bit it's like okay think about how, how much you made and so but even if you're in in drawdown decrease your size stay in the game um because sometimes even if you say oh, i go back to paper trading that's not the same psychologically i feel even if you are still in the game like 10 shares or what it's still that the fact that you actively participate 100%. but decrease size at the same time yeah so you still have a skin in the game even exactly. Uh, yeah exactly super interesting um so You've been trading for a year and a half. That's that's not a lot, but comparing to what you achieved and and the way you do that, it's really impressive. Thank you. What is it right now that you move into the funded account? Basically, is there anything you would change or be less aggressive, more aggressive? Because I do see a different mentality for you know for the guys that pass in the evaluation and once they reach the funded account. Uh, uh, there's a um, shift, uh, mm. I guess, in the mentality or the technicality of uh, their trading. Okay. Um, so, I, yeah, I probably do the risk the same, but the profit taking, I might let my winners run a little more. Um, for the challenge, I took intermediate profits a lot because I mm. wanted to increase my uh, pot, but yeah. I would apply the same risk. Um, but let my runners uh, move a little longer to my the my Fibonacci target that I set. Mm, nice, would love to see that for both of us. <laughs> yep. Amazing. So um, yeah, first of all, thanks so much for the interview. I'm Thank sure you. That we'll, we'll love to hear about it. And are you on the Discord as well? Yeah, yeah you yeah. are. Yeah. So. Um, if you want to share anything you want to add to the guys that will, uh, you know, just chat in there. We all, I, when I started, I didn't have any mentor or anyone to just chat with. And that's incredible that we have this community on Discord and uh, we can share our thoughts and um, our experience, basically. Very true. Yeah, thank you. I'll definitely do that. All righty. Sounds great, Patricia. So thanks so much and uh, best of luck. Thank you. You too. Thanks.